Hey, what's good, YouTube fam? Cool draw here. I want to talk about signs you dealing with a real man. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I I see a lot of, you know, emails, um, comments, inboxes, and you know, comments in my comment section on my YouTube channel, some on Facebook, and a lot of these questions about a man and what should a woman do. So it, it was laid upon my heart to do a video to teach women what a real man is. First of all, I'm gonna say this, this is not a video to bash men. I'm not saying all men are like this, but to the men that's gonna watch this video, if you know that you are not like this, you shouldn't be getting upset saying I'm bashing men. What I'm trying to do is teach women the game, teach women what to look for when they're dealing with, um, with a man. So I'm gonna say this right here, I'm not bashing men, I'm just trying to teach the women. Any men who get offended by what I said, maybe I'm talking about you. Like the old folks say, a hit dog holler. You see what I'm saying? So, a real man is slang for a good man. That's what society call a real man, is a good man, a grown man. So a real man is pretty much slang for a, a grown man or a good man. And I want to give y'all my opinion and my definition of what um, a good man is. And so you ladies can know when you are dating a man, when you are interacting with a man, when you are talking on the phone with a man, that you will know whether or not you are dealing with a, good, a real man. Now, if you are already in a relationship with a man, this video is pretty much going to be confirmation. To let you know whether or not you are dealing with a real man. And after this video, you're going to have to examine that relationship and make some choices about that relationship. You understand? So, sign number one. A real man is a leader. Let me say that again. A real man is a leader. Understand this right here. When a man come in your life, when a real man, a grown man come in your life, he will lead. When I say lead, I'm not talking about dictatorship. I'm not talking about controlling, telling you what you can and can't do, where you can't wear, none of that. Lead means to take the initiative. See, when, see, when you got to understand this right here. When you become exclusive with a man, when that man says, hey, we are in an exclusive relationship, you are my girl, you're my girl, you're my woman, he's supposed to lead. He's supposed to lead. See, if you were the man and that man got his hands out, as soon as you meet a man he got his hands out asking for stuff, sis, he's not a real man. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a grown boy who looking for a mama he can sleep with. And a lot of y'all women watching this video, you are married to a man. You are in a relationship with a man. You are dating a man who want a mama that he can sleep with. Because a real man leads. What I mean by lead? Lead by taking the initiative. A man is supposed to come in your life and make your life easier. As a, as a single woman, when you're single, everything is on you. When you're single, there's more pressure on you, more stress on you. You got to figure out everything. It don't make no sense to be with a man and you still stressed out. A real man is a leader and, and his responsibility as a man to make your life easier. For an example, I'm going to give you an example what I mean by lead. A real man will come and pick your car up. Once y'all in an exclusive relationship and say, baby, I want to come put your car, put some gas in your car for you. Leave once or twice a week, he filling your car with gas. You see what I'm saying? Now, let me say this right here. Oh, can a woman do it herself? Yeah, she can. But a real man won't let him because he, he know his responsibility as a man is to lead. He going to take the initiative. She's not going to have to ask him to do things. He's going to see what he needs to do and just do it. And the reason why I say a real man will, and this and this is just an example. I'm not saying if everybody man don't do this, he's not a real man. But it's just what I would do 
in my relationship. This is what I do in my relationship. See, my woman, when I'm her man, when we are in an exclusive relationship, she my fiance. We get, especially my wife, she not gonna have to touch no gas pump. You hear me? My woman, ain't gonna, she ain't gonna have to. She ain't gonna have to even go to a gas station when I'm her man because I'm a leader. I'm a leader. And I realized that every time a woman go to the gas station, she's at risk of getting robbed. Women are getting robbed every day at gas station. Women are getting targeted by human traffickers. So you got to understand this right here. Whenever you let a woman, when a woman go on pumping her own gas, getting gas, get what? She's at risk. She can go inside the store, a robber come behind them. Grab her, take a person, run. Oh, she leave a person in the car. They smashing the car door windows. You know what I'm saying? Taking the person out of the car. So when the woman's single, I get that. She can do it herself. She responsible for her own protection. But when a woman have a man in her life, it is that man's responsibility to make sure his woman is safe. You understand me? Now, I'm going to say this here. If your man do not put gas in your car, don't go to your man and tell your man, you need it. I'm watching Cole Rod on Facebook, on YouTube, on YouTube. And he said, real man put gas in his woman's car. You need to put gas in my car. You ain't no real man. Don't tell your man that you heard Cole Rod on YouTube say to him. Because a man don't want to hear nothing about what you heard from another man. He going to feel like, oh, you, you trying to. You, you let another man tell me what to do. You see what I'm saying? That's how man is. He got pride. He got ego. So if you want your man to do that, if he's not doing that, I'm not saying he's not a real man, but go to that man and talk to that man. Baby, you know, sit down. I'm going to talk. I'm going to ask you something. I'm going to tell you something. You know, baby, it's dangerous for me to go to the gas station and put, you know, gas in my car. I shouldn't have to pump no gas pump. I got a man. I shouldn't have to touch the gas pump, baby. You know, I, I I feel as though, I feel as though, you know, you should, you know, take my car and make sure it have gas in it for me. Right? Now, look how that man respond. If that man say, okay, baby, yeah, I understand you right. Then you see him starting to do that. He may not be consistent, but, you know, he's trying. Okay, hang in there. You may have you something. But if you tell that man like that and you ain't talking bad about this man, you ain't cursing to this man, and you being nice to this man, if that man tell you, you can do it yourself, you ain't handicapped, that is not your that is not a real man. You got you a grown boy. And I advise you right there to cut that off. You gotta cut that off. Whenever a man tell you, when you ask a man in a nice way to do anything for you, and this is not pumping gas. If you feel like your man should do something for you and he ain't on his game, okay, you, you talk to him like a, you know, you check him in a nice way. Give him a chance. But if that man tell you, you can do it yourself, you ain't handicapped. Don't go any farther with that man. Cut it off. Cut him, cut him, cut him, cut him. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Let me tell you something. A man like that, that's a, that, 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 when you, if you marry a man like that, you gonna be just like a mad woman I know. Y'all know in Florida a lot of hurricanes come. Mad man, true story now. Mad man, hurricane come. He go fill his car. He go he go put his car and put gas in his car. His car filled. And his wife gotta go wait in the long line. Cause you know in Florida when the hurricanes come, and everybody trying to get gas. His wife gotta get her car and go wait in the long line. For hours in a hot car, which don't have no air conditioning in it, because he don't want to fix the air conditioning for his wife. Their wife got to go wait in a line in, 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 in the heat in Florida to get gas in her car for the hurricane. While he got a gas in his car, and he at home like this right here, chilling like a villain, watching TV. That what kind of? I'm trying to tell you. Whenever you see a man tell you. You can do it yourself. You better run. Put on your track shoes and run. That is not a real man. You got your sorry behind. And the man will, who do something like that, a man who, who will go put gas in his car during the hurricane season while a hurricane coming, 
then go sit on his butt and have his wife out there waiting in the line, put gas in the car. That that is that is a disgrace. That is despicable. And as a coach, as a relationship coach, it gets on my nerve when my followers inbox me or email me some foolishness like that. It makes me upset. Y'all got to stop marrying these sorry men. Real men leave, sis. Now, every, every man they got to put gas in their car, I get that. If you want to put gas in your car, my point of this right here is, this is what I do in my relationship. I'm not saying every man got to put gas in his woman's car. long as your man is doing things in a relationship that he's taking initiative and doing things that you that's going to help you out and make things more easier, then that's fine. You see what I'm saying? The man put to come and get your car, make sure the car got oil chain. Baby, when the last time you get oil chain in your car? When you're single, you responsible for that because you're a single woman. You're an independent woman. But when, you, but, but, but when you get in a relationship with a man, you ought to be able to depend on this man for something. If this man talking about he want to be your head, he want to, you know, uh, uh, he want to marry you and you so fine. I want to make you my wife and all here. God say you my wife. But you can't, you can't make sure my car gets serviced. A real man will make sure you got good tires on your car. Because he's the leader. He's going to take the initiative. This is what I do. With every woman I get with, I, I look at what she, the car she riding in. I look at her tires. If she got bad tires on her car, get what? Hey, babe, let me take your car and put some tires on it. I can't let you around with the car like that right now. She didn't have to ask. A woman, when she have a man, all that woman got to do is get in that car and turn the key and drive down the road. Now, when she's single, different story. Real men lead. Real men take the initiative. Real men will see things in your life that you need to get done, and they will do it. Another sign you're dealing with a real man is a real man is a provider. Oh, Boy, I'm finna really make some of these men mad now, boy. <laughs> they finna get mad at me for this right here. <sighs> I'm not saying, I'm not saying that a real man gotta pay all the woman bills and she sit home and she don't work. He provide doesn't mean just paying all bills. Understand it right here. When I say a man is a provider. That means he know his responsibility as a man, as the man, to make sure his woman is straight. You understand me? A real man does not come into a relationship with his hands out. A real man come into a relationship to lead, sis. Y'all get these old sorry men, and they come in y'all life. You meet them online dating, and you just met this man, and he got his hands out. And you sit right there and get this man all your money. A real man does not come in a relationship with his hands out. A real man comes in a relationship to lead. To provide. He's going to make sure you straight. A real man do not go 50-50 on dates. Point blank period. Yet. No, 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 no. A real man don't do that. Because a real man understand that you don't spend money on your weave. You don't spend money to get somebody to do your hair, to put the weave in. You don't spend money on your makeup. You don't spend money on your outfit. A real man understand that if you got kids, you got to spend money on a babysitter. And then he going to ask you to pay half on a date? That ain't... You trying to date me. You trying to date me. You, you, you pursuing me. This the problem with a lot of men. They don't want to be men and court women no more. They want you to pay half. That's not a date. You see what I'm saying? Real men do not go 50-50. So I'm going to tell you something, sis. You, if you ever, if you're on a date with a man, during the dating stage, during the talking stage, during the dating stage, and that man opened his mouth and said, 50-50, pay your hair, I pay my hair. Y'all at the restaurant eating. The waitress come by, pay the bill. 
bring the bill to y'all. She gonna nine times out of ten, she gonna put the bill on the man's side first. Cause everybody already know men should pay. So I been there. Every time I was on a date with a woman, when the waiter come by, they, they gave me the bill. <laughs> so he gets the bill. And he looking at the bill. You, 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 you gotta pay your you gotta pay your part of it here. You 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 I only had a little salad, but you, you had steak and you had shrimp. And you you had that old expensive drink that uh um with the alcohol in it uh uh, uh you gotta pay all that right here uh, you gotta pay your half of the bill fifty fifty this is how you should respond oh I gotta pay my half of the bill yeah oh really oh okay no problem brother get your card um excuse me waiter can you split the bill yeah. Okay. Here you go. Pay your part of the bill. And end the day right there. Brother, let me tell you something. Um, I don't think we need to go any farther with dating. Um, you you, you know, uh it, it just it's not gonna work. You just not a good fit for me. Um, you know, I, I just don't see it's going anywhere. I don't wanna lead you on any farther. So brother, God bless your night knowing you. Have a good one. Get up, walk away. What you mean? Come here. What's up? Brother, I'm good. And walk away. Get in your car. Because when I tell you, you don't let a man pick you up on the first dates when y'all dating. You meet him. If y'all going to a restaurant, you drive your car. He drive his car. Y'all meet there. That way, if you want to end the date, you got to ride home. He don't know where you stay at during the dating stage. If you want to know where you stay at, he got to make you his woman. If y'all not exclusive, a man don't know where you stay. Get in your car. God bless you, brother. Take the long way home and watch your rear view mirror. If you got to go out the way and park a little bit, make sure he ain't following you. And you go home and you never talk to him again. That is not a real man, sir. Period. If you marry the 50-50 man, you're going to be just like his woman. That I coach, Corrad, me and my husband, we went 50 50. You go 50 50. I pay my part of the bill. I go to him and ask him for his part of the bill. Corrad, my husband, cuss me out and tell me, you don't want me to have S. I always got to give you money for the bills and blah, blah, blah. And this man go buy speakers and ring for his cars and, and shoe. Now I got to end up paying all the bills. But when I end up paying all the bills, Corrad, I don't have no money for gas to get back and forth to work. So I got to pray to God that I don't run out of gas, get back and forth to work because my husband won't even give me money for gas. That what kind of man you going to marry? Do not marry the 50-50 man. Real, a real man is a provider. A real, sign number three. A real man is a protector. Real men protect women. Let me say that again for the ones in the back of here. Real men protect women. Pump blank period. It don't make no sense that a woman commented on my video and said, Cora, I had an argument with a man about men supposed to provide and protect women. This man tell me where in the Bible where it says that a man supposed to provide and protect women. Sis, whenever a man tell you that right there, during the dating stage, talking stage, or or either the relationship stage, that he is not a real man and that is not your husband. That is not your husband. You got to cut that off. You don't want to marry no man like that. I promise you, sir, that is not your husband. Because any real man know it's his responsibility to protect his woman. A real man will hurt somebody about his woman. A real man will go to prison about his woman. And one thing about me, I'm a God-fearing man and I love the Lord. But if you hurt my woman, I'm going to prison. You understand me? You, either you're going to kill me or I'm going to kill you. Because I'm a real man. Nobody is going to hurt my woman. No other man is going to put it. He even, he even raised his voice at my woman. But I'm going to knock you out. 
I'm gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and have me a prison ministry. I'll be like Paul and Silas in there singing at midnight. You see what I'm saying? So when the man come tell you some crap like that, we're in the Bible that a man say, brother, listen here. I'm not even gonna argue with you about that. Y'all on the phone talking. We're in the Bible. We're in the Bible say a man put provide and protect women. They ain't. Oh, the Bible don't say that? No, no, it ain't in the Bible. Hey, okay, bro, you right. You don't say that. I'm not going to argue with you. You right. You you can have that. Well, brother, since you say that, though, <laughs> I know what a real man is, and you, you're not what I'm looking for. So, my brother, God bless you. Thank God for you. I keep you in my prayers, but I know right now you're not the one for me. You're not what I'm looking for. I'm not going to argue with you. He's going to be, oh, blah, 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 blah. No, 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 calm down. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to argue with you. Because one thing I do know, a queen does not argue with a grown man about his responsibility. Since you don't know your responsibility as a man, God bless you, brother. Have a good life. Delete and block. And never, ever, 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 like Chris Tucker say, ever talk to him again. You hear me? Don't even argue with a man. How you gonna argue with a grown man about his responsibility as a man? Psst. Come on now. Don't even argue with a man about that. Brother, you right. Get off the phone and hang the phone up. Point blank, period. 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 <laughs> Y'all let us be doing that. Y'all be tripping me at the memes on um, social media. Period. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Don't 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 entertain no man like that, sis. Real men protect women. How those real men protect women? They make sure women are safe. It's so amazing to me. Men talking about women don't want to submit, but can you make her feel safe? Can you make her feel safe? See, this is what men don't understand. You got to make the woman feel safe. You want her to submit to you and trust you with her life and you make her feel safe? Come on, now. Sign number four. A real man respect women. Let me say that again for the ones in the back just because they couldn't hear. A real man respects women. Listen to me, sis. Come here. A man got one time to call you out your name. If a man call you the B word, the H word, or any prerogative word, that, that that's it. Cut him off. That is not your man, and he's not a real man. Real man respects women. I have seen email, Corrad, this man called me the B word. I left him. Two weeks later, he came back begging what should I do? The answer is keep it moving. Don't never let a man call you out your name more than one. One time. Don't let a man call you a B twice. One time to call you a B. It's, you over. It's over. It's over. You understand what I mean? Real men respect women. Period. Don't tolerate disrespect from a man, sis. You're going to let a man call you a B, and then you're going to let him get on top of you and make noise? Are you serious? When the man call you a B, and then he want to get on top of you and make noise, to him, you a trash can. That's what you is. To him, you a piece of paper on the floor. Understand that right there, sir? Real men respect women. Sign number five. You're dealing with a real man. Real men values women. Real man knows a woman value. And whenever you're dealing with a man, and you know you're a good woman, if that man cannot see your value, you know you're a God-fearing woman, you know that you're a strong woman, you know you're a strong woman, that you're a woman of character, woman of morals, a woman that have boundaries and standards, and if that man can't see that you are valuable. If he can't see your value, get what? He's not a real man. Real man knows the value of a grown woman, sis. Real men value women. How to value a woman? For an example, this is what I do. One of my exes I was with, 
she liked to wear heels. So when she walk up to the stairs, like we, we go to a restaurant and got steps, I grab her hand, make sure she don't fall with the heels on. I'm I'm I'm, I'm attentive. She ain't gotta ask me. Well, you can grab my hand. She ain't gotta ask me that right now. I take her hand and grab her hand, or I put my hand around her, her, her back like this right here, make sure she don't fall. That's what it means to value a woman. Open the door for her, she walks in. That's what real men do. Real men value women. Pump ain't period, sir. Pump ain't period. What I mean? Sign number six, I think I met. No, sign number five. Five or six, whatever. A real man will wait for you. He will wait for you to decide when you want to give him your body. Let me say that again. A real man will wait for you. If a man don't want to wait, get what? He can go down the road. He can go down the road. Because a real man understand. Because he ain't just trying to get between your legs. He's trying to get to know you and build with you. So a real man, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna wait. He gonna wait. And these are some signs. It could be some more signs. But these are some signs that you are dealing with a real man. So if you're in a relationship with a man. And you don't see these signs. And you feeling like, man, I don't know if this is real. Like, how I know, how I know this man really love me. How do I know this man really, you know, you don't feel value. You got to question it. Get on the phone with Coach Rod. Book a session. $40. Invest $40 and get on the phone with Coach Rod. The link going to be in the description. You need to talk, sis. You understand me? Because y'all ain't dealing with no real men. Y'all ain't dealing with no real men, sir. Y'all dealing with little boys. Understand this right here. And whenever you are with a man and the burden is on you, B O Y, boy, burden on you, that means you with a boy. But when you're dealing with a real man, M A N, a man stands for meet all needs. Believe that right down. Sir. So, you deserve better. Stop dealing with these grown boys. God bless y'all. The link on me in the description box if you need coaching. It's your boy Coach Rod signing out. We'll talk soon.